Hey Fire Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for February 10th, 2019. I apologize for not having a reading out for yesterday. I have a horrible cold and I didn't have a voice yesterday. So I'm feeling a little better today. So here we go. We will start with Aries. First will be you, Aries. Second will be your Then third outcome from the deck aired energy. Your guys' names is just you, Aries. For February love. Jeez. All right. Your guys' bottom deck is the Three of Swords in reverse, clarified by the Five of Swords in reverse. So you guys have been working hard on getting over heartbreak of the past. Um, healing your heart over somebody that you had to walk away from or that somebody that walked away from you <coughs> excuse me but um both your hearts are are healing from a past situation that really left you um feeling hurt uh it really scarred you from this person what they have said what they did it really hurt um you in the past you're now at a place of where you need to make a choice, make a decision. You may not be looking um, at all the options the way that you need to. Um, let's see what this decision is about. Why is the two of swords here for Aries? Okay, the fool. So here you are uh, showing up in your own decision. Do you choose what's best for you or um, do you choose to stay, choose to go? However, that fits into... Um, your situation, but you have a choice and the best choice for you is to move forward um, and make the choice that is that is best for you. No matter what, make sure your needs and wants are coming first, Aries. Uh, the person you are dealing with could be an earth sign. They're very stable, very um, committed to what they do. They, let's see here. Let's see why the king, oh my goodness, I haven't even asked yet. <laughs> Why is the King of Pentacles here for Aries person? Oh. All right, the world. So um, you have a choice whether to end things with this person, to complete the cycle with this person and move forward bliss blissfully on your own, or do you wait for this person to close up a major life chapter that they are working on closing up and move forward with them? That is your choice here with the Two of Swords. Uh your guys' outcome for the day is the devil, way too many cards, but uh, the devil in reverse, removing yourself from a toxic um, situation, a toxic relationship, a toxic job, however it fits, and you are choosing a path that's going to give you love and happiness instead of this um, controlling energy that makes you feel like you're tied down, that you're bonded to the situation. Let's get one more for the devil. Thank you. Yeah, the Page of Cups. So um, this is a very innocent love, very innocent energy that's coming towards you, going to make this love offer to you. The bottom of the deck is also the Page of Wands. So could have children involved, but no matter what, you are going to take that leap of faith and choose whichever path is best for you. Escaping this, this uh, situation where you feel tied down and bonded and new love is going to come in for you, Aries, um, with this new energy coming towards you. Very positive reading for you guys, Aries. There's that world again and popped out. Wanted you to know, close up cycles that are done and over with. All right, let's go with Leo. First card is you, Leo. Second card is your person. Third card is your outcome. And you have this seven of pentacles. Be, being patient with yourself, with others, working hard on yourself. Cultivating a new idea, I'm seeing patiently waiting for somebody to see what's right in front of them. Ooh. Okay, your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Five of Cups. Your bottom of the deck, however, is the Ace of Cups. So beautiful new love is coming towards you. Um, you or the person you're dealing with has a wall built up. They are getting over the loss of something, a situation, or another person. There's a lot of depression here, not letting anybody in. They have, like I said, they have that wall up. They're holding on tight to their emotions, not letting anybody know how they're feeling or what they're thinking. You're patiently waiting for this person to see what a blessing you are to them. 
Um, this person is concentrating on what they lost instead of what they could have. They have to give up something in order to get something better. You are the something better. So in the meantime, you are just working on yourself and waiting for this person to open their eyes and see. Because um, right now, nobody is working on this relationship. Um, you're both just kind of doing your own thing. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Leo? Okay, thank you. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. So yeah, you're also healing on... Um, some deceit that was done to you by this person. This person could be in another commitment, could be with somebody else already, and you're just patiently waiting and healing while they are trying to figure out their own shit. The tower. Yeah, they're trying to keep the tower from falling in their own life out of fear. So they're holding on tight to what they got, even though they are, um, they are wanting to be with you. The tower is here, however, though, so it will come crashing down sooner or later because the seed has already been planted. Why is Eight of Pentacles here for their outcome? This is very positive, actually, for you, Leos. Um, you are no longer stressing out over working this relationship out. Bottom of your deck is a Three of Swords in reverse. So you are over this heartache. You have healed. You have done the work. You have put in the time to get over the Seven of Swords um, energy that, that this person had put you in. They are going to have to deal with this tower moment eventually. But in the meantime, um, continue to work on yourself while they are figuring things out in their own life. And when the two of you are able to come together, it won't be any work. It will, um, it will fall together just in the right time, how, just how it's supposed to be. So very positive for you, Leos. Continue to work hard on yourself. You're doing an awesome job. Um, and this person will see what you mean to them here um, very shortly. All right, Sagittarius. First card you, second card your person, third card outcome. Let's see what I, Whoa, that went flying. All right, you have the star. Third person. Wow. Very good energy for you guys. Your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the moon. Bottom of the deck is strength. Awesome. All right, Sagittarius. So you're dealing with somebody who's very loving, nurturing, um, is very devoted to uh, making everybody around them happy. Uh, but they're keeping a secret what, what they want to be happy, what they need to be happy this is something that they are dealing with. However, this is a very deep, deep loving and nurturing energy that they share for you as you to them. This is deep romance, deep seated passion, um, and wanting to nurture this relationship into the material um, on both sides of this energy. Most definitely you are dealing with a soulmate. Divine timing is here because you've healed. You've put in the work. You've put in the hard um, time of dealing with those childhood hurts, those past sadnesses, those wounds that had to be healed for, whoa, before you could move forward. Um, I'm going to reshuffle those because way too many came out, but, um, let me get these flipped back over. Okay. The star. Wow. That was a queen of wands. I am going to put it back just because, um, I didn't call for it yet. So, why is the star here for Sagittarius? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Six of Cups here? And the Two of Cups. Okay, so bottom of the deck is Ten of Swords. That's where your healing was coming from. Uh, you're continuing to heal, continuing to work on yourself while you were waiting for possibly an earth sign, but just somebody who was very slow moving to come back towards you. Um, they were unable to move towards you because they had lack of stability. Um, they are, however, moving in a little bit faster pace. This person is your soulmate. This person is somebody that has children possibly, but they are going through a, a transformation right now, a spiritual rebirth. Um, and that's what's causing this halt in the progress because they have to go through this rebirth, this transformation before they can move forward towards you. So while you're a little bit ahead of the game, you are healing um, while they are realizing what the connection the two of you share, um, as well as uh, having this 
transformation that they needed to go through before the two of you could come together. And um, it's being clarified by the high priest. So before the two of you could come together in this commitment, this soulmate connection and, and become uh, committed to each other in this marriage, um, this is a very, very spiritual connection. The two of you share very strong bond, um, very deep emotional uh, passion for each other that most definitely is spiritually connected, very bonded together. It's like a magnet. The two of you come together and pull apart, um, but you can never seem to get this person off your mind. That's because they most definitely are a soulmate of yours. But divine timing is here. They have gone through the rebirth process. They are going to begin to move forward, and this will end in a um, commitment with your soulmate, Sagittarius. So beautiful energy for all three of you fire signs. Awesome. All right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful Sunday. I will see you next time. God bless.